your yes, I think it was yes, a mistake. I, I apologise for uh, for it. I think in, in, in hindsight, it was uh, the wrong thing to do. Uh, I apologise to everybody who's been uh, badly affected by it. And I just want to make absolutely clear that there's no place in this government for uh, anybody who uh, is predatory or who uh, abuses their position of power. Did you want to joke, though, pincher by name, pincher by nature? Well, what I can tell you is that uh, if I look at the background of this and why I regret it so much, is that uh, about three years ago, uh, there was a complaint made against uh, Chris Pincher in the Foreign Office. Uh, the complaint was, was uh, cleared up. He apologised. Uh, it was raised with me. Uh, in uh, orally, there was a, I, was, I was briefed on what had, had happened. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if, if I had my time again... I would think back on it and uh, recognise that uh, he wasn't going to learn uh, any okay. lesson he w and he wasn't going to, to change. I and, know that you didn't deny I, using I that, that phrase there. Uh, Prime Minister, this is about truth, isn't it? It's about whether people can believe what you say. And we now know that those who speak for you over the last few days have said things that turned out to be untrue. Did you lie to them? No. And uh, let, me, let me explain what, uh, what, what happened. So... Uh, this is the, uh, we're talking about a series of uh, events over, or a series of appointments over several years. So uh, Chris Pincher came into government as Deputy Chief Whip uh, before I became uh, Prime Minister. Uh, he was moved to the, to the Foreign Office. Uh, he then went on to, to be a Minister for, uh, for Housing. Indeed. And uh, we then moved him back to be, uh, to be Deputy Chief Whip. As I say, uh, about two and a half years ago, I got this uh, complaint. Uh, it, was, it was something that uh, was only raised with me very cursorily. But I wish okay. uh, that we had, uh, I in particular, had acted on it and uh, that he had not uh, continued in government. Because he then okay. went on, I'm afraid, to behave, as far as we can see, according to the allegations that we have, very, very badly. Okay. There we are. That was the Prime Minister admitting it was a mistake to appoint uh, Chris Pincher and he has apologised. Sky's Deputy Political Editor Sam Coates is in Westminster. Westminster. So, Sam, what did you make of what he had to say? Well, first of all, Mark, another apology. Has there been a uh, Prime Minister in modern times to have apologised so many times for so many different things in just one year, whether it was the Owen Paterson affair, whether it was parties, or now Chris Pincher? Those are all things that have forced Boris Johnson in front of the TV cameras to the dispatch box in order to issue abject apologies for his mistakes. The second thing that leaps out is an argument that Boris Johnson makes in that uh, interview that we just heard. Essentially, he's saying, I should have realised when I was first alerted to the 2019 allegations that somebody like that doesn't change their behaviour. I should have let him go entirely, made sure he wasn't in the position he was in uh, last, last week when he uh, uh, there was an assault in the uh, Carlton Club, uh, uh, allegedly. And uh, I think that argument from Boris Johnson that he should have realised that people don't change uh, will be examined quite closely by Conservative MPs, who are also asking the question whether or not Boris Johnson, who's had to apologise for so many things, will change himself. Then the third thing that stands out a mile from that short interview was that when challenged over whether Chris Pincher uh, was... Uh, uh, he described Pincher uh, as uh, Pincher by name, Pincher by nature, there was no denial that he used that remark, making absolutely clear uh, that he would have been very aware of what was going on uh, and, as a consequence, uh, using that kind of language about Chris Pincher, uh, I think um, now that the Prime Minister on camera there, not denying uh, it, uh, will uh, prompt further questions amongst Tory MPs.